Okay, uh, I realized that the last video I did was more of a le less of an introduction, more of just the prerequisite knowledge that you have to know. So let's get to the real introduction of this whole thing. So let me uh, go into this mode, and we're going to be developing three classes. Um, two of them are really insignificant. We're going to have here an interface class, and we go ahead and type that in. There we go. Interface class. Right? That's one. And we're going to have over here eventually a, let's call it the main class. And uh, what, what this main class is going to have in it, this is what's going to have the main method in it. Uh, public static void main you know that whole deal that's where this is going to be so this, remember in each program there's only one main method at this stage at least uh, I, I don't know um, I, I'm not an advanced program so I can't tell you uh, if a program can really have more than one method but um, let's just go under this for now so we have an interface class main class and the real important one is going to be a type of implementer class so implementer class so basically how this is going to work we're going to declare a whole bunch of things in this class um, we're going to declare methods but note it, it's kind of like uh, in C++ how you have method prototypes that you declare in the beginning of the program or I mean near the top of it anyway so we're going to have one for I don't know this might be for adding numbers this might be for subtracting numbers um, and really I should tell you that the whole point of this is to create your own data type where you can add 80 digit numbers using this so in this scenario my professor gave me um, a method prototypes uh, an interface class that's given to me and I have to produce an implementer class and main class to go along with it so whatever is here let's say this is the add class we're going to also declare it here right and in addition to that we're going to have the source code to go along with it and then here what we're going to have is a huge integer we're going to create a huge integer object and uh, then we're going to have a typical let's see what color can I give this uh, let me just stick with red I guess we're going to give it a we have to use a new keyword here and say that this is part of the implementer class and then I'll provide maybe an initializing variable there this might sound completely crazy and weird to you but stick with it you'll, you'll understand it as I go along so this is kinda what we're doing let me show you the interface class that was given to me um, by my professor which was part of the basic assignment so this would be it right here okay I got a lot of things on this web page so here basically these are the, the directions create a class implementing a huge interface uh, below so the huge interface is provided to us that's this right here and you don't declare it as a class this is where you would typically um, declare something as a class right there no you declare it as an interface and then you declare all these uh, methods so here um, this is going to be used by an implementer class which then goes over to a main class alright so Let's start making this. Uh, you might be a bit confused by it, but as we go along, you'll see that really all we're doing is uh, 
if you want to look at it, this might be a, a simpler way to look at it. We always have a main class. We're used to that. And if you've looked at Bucky's videos, you can see that we can have multiple classes, right? So these multiple classes have methods in them. And we can go ahead, we can create an object of that method. Let me uh, make the object blue here and this new keyword. And then uh, it will say the same thing here. So basically, we'll be implementing these methods as objects here. I'm calling. I'm calling this. Oh, that that was a bad arrow. I'm calling this method from the main method, and I'm using it here. Basically, that's what we're doing. Except the interface basically provides a standard. You can't. So all of a sudden, see you have all these specific methods to use: add, subtract, uh, is equal, is greater, is less, is zero. Um, but for example, you can't have something that's not here, like is valid. You can't. These are the only public methods that are going to basically be allowed. That's what you. That's how you can kind of think of an interface right now. That you're defining only what's going to be public and anything outside of this is definitely not going to be public it has to be private so let's kind of get started let me s open up Eclipse real quick and show you um, I have enough time maybe to show you the project that I was working on and you can see uh, uh, what I was basically doing so here uh, I had this interface project which was basically a complete failure moved on to this one which was uh, a success it, it was a success and then uh, I just improved upon it I didn't really improve upon it all I did was take um, you'll see here that I have three different class files I just in the end stuck it in one big class file well one source code file I should say with all these classes and more in it so all of this is in there all right so basically we can uh, take a little preview at the code so the one thing that's not going to change at all is this page the and maybe we'll we won't have all of this we'll maybe just build it up first and just have these um, that method and maybe this method uh, yeah maybe these two yeah, that's these uh, top five here are probably the most important ones, really. And then we'll add these as we go as we uh, go along with it, you know. But they're they're not necessarily necessarily to begin with. Well, we'll, we'll see as we go along. So the implementer class, and let me um, get as big of a view as I can, and let me compress these foldings, collapse all, and. Uh, You'll see that uh, I'm hiding code here. As you can see, it goes from line 31 to 37. I collapsed the code. All you see is the the declared methods, and you you'll see how each one has its own um, basic purpose, kind of. Um, you know, each one's doing a little job, and um, see this program requires a, at least I'm establishing it with a lot of private methods this method here isn't even used but can be used but uh, I never got to, into using it uh, to begin with uh, translate methods calculate methods validation methods uh, which to note um, I have static and this is not the best way to do it but this is the best way I can think of especially since I don't know uh, at this stage, I'm not supposed to know about try and catch uh, structure yet, so I can't throw exceptions and errors, um, at least at this time. So this is basically a little preview of what we're doing, main class, um, basically just test runs this. And to give you an idea, 1 plus 1 gives you 2. So the program basically works. This means I'm out of time, so I'll see you in another video.